Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Welcome to your daily messages for each individual zodiac signs. And definitely we'll do more on the channel. Definitely we'll change the dynamic of the readings. And definitely I will try to do um, a mix match energies for all of you, inclusive for the collective. And as yesterday, we start with an advice and then we go with our deck and we'll do the zodiacs. And at the end, there is collective. And as well, just let me know, starting January 2023rd, we'll do one daily as we used to do a collective together and one just the zodiac science because i know many of you miss it so i will try to do it and as well the energies of the weekly the monthly whatever it is and if you didn't check out yet the shorts the dailies shorts the reason I don't put on the shorts the day, the number of the day or the month, is because many of you, you might stumble in just one reading. And that reading could be your day advice. So keep in mind that. Let's see. One advice from the Archangels. This is Archangel Oracle Cards. So here he is. We have peace underneath. We have nurture the peace card for the 14th Archangel Chamuel peace comes from remembering that only love is real so many many of you you need to find deep deep inside that little seed of love because I feel here for some of you might feel a little disconnected within whatever it's happening outside of you and what is inside. All right, loves. Yes, there is also someone here who write me an email and said, I feel I lost my soul. You never lose your soul. Your soul, it's like a, a fingerprint comes at your birth. You probably are disconnected somehow. Or probably you need to root yourself more, ground yourself. So you could get in that connection. All right, loves. So peace card, I will, I will read it to you, loves. That peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Look past the surface of this situation and see the underlining truth that everyone involved is a child of God filled with love. By focusing upon this truth, you elicit loving behavior and solutions. Even through appearances may seem otherwise, trust that a higher wisdom is in charge. Love is the only power that exists and its light shines away any seeing darkness. Hold the intention to look for example of this light within yourself and others. And you will have more light in your mind, heart, thoughts and life. This knowledge is the foundation of the peace. Working with the Archangel Chamuel, when you wish to feel more centered, calm and peaceful, call upon Chamuel. He is the Archangel of personal and global peace. He is very kind, loving and sweet. And he'll evoke a pleasant feeling of excitement when he works with you. Know that Chamuel sees your true qualities and love you unconditionally. 
So love yourself exactly that way. So whoever needs to see and hear this message, it's right here, loves. And of course, moving on to our Aries. Let's see, loves. Three cards, energy, five of swords, knight of swords, and three of cups. Yes, there's a little unpleasant energy around the Aries I'm speaking. Because somebody here probably lied to you or done some certain things out there and you kind of want to tell them certain things straight in their face. You know, sometimes it's worth to go and say, sometimes just wasting the energy. So think very clearly, loves. For some of you, there is someone here, you know, upset of you, saying or doing certain things. You know, could be vice versa. But yes, somebody here feels like, well, we're getting together just because you want or just because you need me, not just like that. There's also here an Aries who might have a friend that... We come together, but only for certain reason, not just like that. You know, that's called business. That's not called friendship, loves. Because you need to trade something. So keep in mind that. Yes, Aries, sometimes that's how it happens. But there's a thing here for some of you. The universe brings you certain signs on your path so you will know better to do the next time on the way to our Taurus welcome darlings let's see Taurus we have five of swords goodness four of swords and six of swords all swords a lot of things up into your mind but look at this loves for some of you there is a sign for you to pay attention who you are interacting with because look at this four five six is like like one step at a time one thing at a time it shows to you and something here is it's kind of attention towards attention towards so later will not be harder you know, four of swords, six of swords makes the ten of swords. From the five of swords to the ten of swords, it's quite quite a thing. So I feel here within days, there is a Taurus here who needs very strongly to think very much who you want to interact. Because I feel here there's certain people around you, you it's kind of better to to not interact or better to set certain boundaries than to feel like they are the best friends because yes i feel here that's up into your head you're thinking but also it's more likely i want certain certain things different but i rather just leave the pie so something here it's kind of like you know, it's not like rejection and protection, that, but I feel here in this, this case, the science brings protection and redirection to you. I don't see here a rejection of some kind because I feel here there are certain things that you actually need to pay attention to and follow, okay? Whatever that is. The fact that you are still thinking of or feel that something is off, that's the first sign. Queen of Wands could be regards a fire sign. For some of you, there is a drama energy over there. Doesn't mean that you got to deal with a fire sign. But I feel here many, many times when we have the, the Queen of Wands, there is a drama energy over there. You know, people, drama, gossip and things like that. Pay attention to those, you know, circle or things. 
Moving on to our Gemini's. Welcome, darlings. Let's see. The first card for my Gemini's, we have nine of cups, we have 10 of wands, and knight of pentacles. Okay, it seems here that a Gemini slowly, slowly moves away from their comfort zone. Yes, slowly, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest night. For some of you, you might move on from a situation that, you know, was very slow in the move, yet was a little comfortable, but I feel here there was a lot of pressure, a lot of work to be done for very little. You know, sometimes we have... Let's, let's say an example. You have a job and it's okay. It's not excellent, but it's okay. Yes, you have a lot of things to, to do, but the, the advancement, the growth, it's very slow. And I feel here, there's something here that you are going to do about it quite quickly. For some of you, yes, you, you could be in a connection with someone that was just one-sided, for one way or another was okay, but I feel here now you understand that you want more. And that's the movement happening. Absolutely. Some Geminis slowly, slowly understand that they are absolutely deserve more. Look at this Empress. For many, many of you, you do know that you deserve much more the effort you put, you deserve much more. On the way to our Cancerians, welcome. That's it, darlings. The first card for you, we have Six of Cups, Six of Wands, and Knight of Pentacles. All right, loves, you are on your beautiful way getting away from a situation from the past or leaving behind the past situation. Yes, take some time, but slowly, slowly, you are getting to the shore. For some of you, you could deal here with a Leo or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The fact is, there is movement. And I feel here you probably know that Whatever you've been through took quite a long time. But the Six of Wands, there is a winning case, winning prize. For some of you, took you quite a while to get where you are today. Probably was other factors, but you are on the right path. Don't even doubt it, loves. Don't even, even doubt it. For some of you, you needed to take yourself a little slower if you've been like doing this doing that making this making that and also there's a cancerian here who it's kind of finally understand certain things that they need to leave behind because there is a reason so it's like i'm not gonna lie myself and trying to get away with the shortcut yes for some of you Cancerians, be aware that might be someone out there that might try to come back and you very hardly moved on from them. They are pretty much the same, did not really change. So know that loves. My darling Leos, welcome. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, Lovers and Page of Swords. You love trying to make a decision. Probably you need more information or you feel that I need more to know. I have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, but I feel here you are still doubting because you don't know everything or you need to know everything. Page of Swords, the Devil. I feel here for many, many of you, it's kind of like, as you know more, will get harder for you to make that decision. So take a leap of faith. Let's see one more card, Two of Cups. So just kind of dig it in might not be the case. Let it loose, loves. Go with the flow. 
don't expect anything okay because for some of you there's something here you need to there's a Leo here who's just kind of this way gotta be this way gotta be that and so on nothing is perfect we do have moments which are perfect but there's no people who are perfect so know that and enjoy the ride enjoy the ride five of pentacles just because something here happened to you and you need to let it go doesn't mean that what is coming will be the same okay virgos i welcome you loves let's see my beautiful virgos first card we have ten of swords four of swords and eight of cups look at this loves that's you here healing leaving behind something ten of swords whatever it's kind of worth is behind healing is in place and movement for some of you yes i see you a little exhausted emotionally and you know even mentally but i don't see you kind of like giving up i don't see you stopping it's it's on the contrary it's like you know that's it couldn't be a different way now i'm moving on yes i need to take my time to think where i go but since that is happening i will keep one step at a time to move yes you are loves the hierophant because i clarified this eight of cups where you're going towards a balanced stable energy because hierophant not necessarily hey you're going towards your person or you are going towards that stable individual hierophant very strongly speaks of you are heading to a better place you are heading to a better stable place and for some of you you are going towards a new stable and grounded foundation keep going loves it's a very very strong journey for some some virgos and nine of pentacles confidence is very much needed nine of pentacles also speaks how you will present how you will show up that's how you will get it so wear the coat of confidence and feel that now i'm stronger now i'm better and most importantly free free to do whatever you want all right loves on the way to our beautiful libras welcome let's see darlings star three of pentacles and seven of cups okay it's like a little while ago you knew what you want now you're quite confused and i'll tell you why loves because sometimes you know clearly what you want but there is great opportunities on the way and you might feel like well i know this is it what i want but probably if the opportunity is something more or there's better opportunity why not look into and now you feel a little confused yes probably you wanted something you might get it there's a wish fulfillment here but you got more options than just one one more card for the seven of cups temperance which one is better paid because i feel here there's a work situation could be a connection but look at this two archangel gabriel and michael here helping you to navigate through to choose the right thing because whatever here you choose will bring you that abundance because yes the temperance brings you good money good abundance balance in your life and why not i feel here could be in the long run so my lovely Libra, 
you can take your time to choose what is right for you and follow your intuition no matter what you do no matter where you go and of course what you choose because deep deep down you know the best choice you can have my scorpios welcome let's see the rollings magician king of cups and page of cups you could deal here with another water sign but it seems here for some of you there is a manifestation that just now starts all what you need to do is to believe that whatever you put it's coming to you page of cups clarifier we have four of pentacles you might be a little like uh, not quite sure if I really said this or made this or won this but hey you know conquer your fears loves don't hold it back because you clearly know what you are able to and how powerful you are whatever point in your life you are there is an opportunity there's a chance over there and some Scorpios might miss it just because holding back or being fearful. I can't do it, but yes, you can. Magician tells you very, very strongly that you have everything it takes to get it done, to get it there. And look at this. Strength. You can do it. Again, strength speaks of you got this as this lady got this lion you got this you are more than you think you are beautiful sagittarians welcome darlings let's see five of cups knight of wands seven of pentacles what is going on here loves Sagis, there's some something here that you feel like I I'm not in the point where I need to do something where I can do something. Just because something here didn't work doesn't mean you need to wait for the right moment for the right time. Clarifying the five of cups, magician. I feel here the, the vibration of some Sagis are a little lower or a little low. The Seven of Pentacles, Moon. There's some, something here you, you're kind of afraid to go forward or it's like that confidence is a little lower. Don't be afraid, loves. Why you are afraid? Why you feel like I need to wait time? Ten of Swords. Feels like you don't have enough. But yes, you do. With the magician, yes, you do. Knight of Wands, Four of Swords. I need more time. I need a break. And yes, for some of you Sagis, might need a break. Take a break. Don't quit. Because I feel here there's something here like I just want to quit. I'm done with this. Or I got to wait. Or I'm waiting for that thing is not coming. Four of Swords very strongly speaks of... There's no time for you to quit, but more likely to gain your powers back because you have everything it takes. You just need to dig a little bit deeper. Dig a little bit deeper, loves, okay? Because you know, you have everything it takes. Justice, and I've seen the chariot. Give a little time. Take some time, bring yourself together, bring that balance back because I feel here there's a little out of alignment and you can do it better. Many, many times we are feel overwhelmed with certain things. We are like many, many times there are certain full moons which affect me strongly, energetically. And I feel here like my my head is pounding and I feel the vibration of the energy just kind of like pressing, pressing, pressing. Those times I just, 
have a tea, have a good water because hydration it's really good to get in, ground myself, take a walk, and once I feel way better, rejuvenating, I come again and do my stuff. So there's a Sag here who, who need to get themselves in that tempo, but before that, take take your time. Capricorns, welcome. Let's see. Four of Swords, High Priestess, and King of Pentacles. Look at you, loves. Grounding yourself, rooting yourself, taking your time, and most importantly, getting in tune with your own vibration. I feel here the Capricorn I'm speaking, there is something out there that you want to do, but I feel here that I'll take my time and when I feel it, I will go forward. Do it so, loves, whatever you need to do, I feel here you will do quite great. You need this time to reflect on, to find and center yourself, do it so, that's the best. It's kind of you know yourself pretty well. You know how to get yourself into certain things and how to recover. A Knight of Cups. Perhaps some, some of you loves, you have some kind of offer and it's kind of, I need to feel it. It's something good and beneficial to me. Well, definitely is. My Aquarius, welcome darlings. Let's see. Five of Cups. Queen of Cups. And Three of Wands. Okay, loves, I see you finally allowing to let go of a situation that really drain you emotionally. Could, could live behind the water sign. But I feel here with the Queen of Cups, you finally allow to, to move from a situation as far as you can. Three of Wands is kind of, I'm detaching from this energy, which I feel low. I'm allowing this to go away from. Five of Cups, Nine of Cups. I really wanted something, but now not anymore. Three of Wands, King of Swords. So yeah, you clearly know your plans, but I feel here your plans cannot go through unless you allow to let go something or to detach and move away from a situation that really emotionally is just kind of like, you know, milking a cow. That's high, how milking you. Look at this Wheel of Fortune, death energy. The universe tries to move you forward. Don't think of it any further. Nine of Swords, there's... There's something here to keep into your mind constantly, constantly. Let it go, love. Sometimes letting it go, it's hard. But once you know how, things start smoothing out. And Pisces, welcome, darlings. Let's see what we have for you. The first card for my Pisces, we have Eight of Swords. Eight of Cups and Queen of Cups. The Pisces I'm speaking here, there was a period in your life that you tell, it's kind of you, you kept telling yourself, I can do this, I can make this, I can walk away from this. But now, once you tell, telling yourself, I need to do this, I'm allowing so I can move forward. You are actually walking away from that prison energy. Well, speaking of prison, metaphorically, for some of you, yes, it's some, some of you walking away from someone who is in prison, but I feel here you are not the prisoner of your own mind. You are walking away from that feeling of, I can't. I'm not able into, I am allowing, I'm doing it. So you see here that switch of energy of, I'm not able to allowing and I'm able. Because many, many people in this life, in this world, 
everything starts with you and telling yourself that you can't you automatically put a wall there once you are telling yourself well let me take a look let me go through and see then you give the opportunities and three of pentacles a lot of work is in the process for um, for those of you who who were required to do a lot of work on yourself now you're putting that very strongly there's also here a pisces who didn't even it's like i didn't see myself quitting this job but I was so unfulfilled and so trapped. Now allowing to walk away, I see the opportunities. I see myself like flourishing, blooming. And indeed here, so certain times we feel like nothing will work, nothing will move. And coming forward to certain things feels like that's a bad dream. All right, collective. Welcome loves. We have a page of pentacles. Seven of Swords. Too many cards. Knight of Cups. Ten of Wands. Five of Swords. Magician. Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. And Ace of Wands. We have King of Pentacles underneath. But look at this. I'm I'm not a big fan of Seven of Swords, neither the Five of Swords. And somebody here is it's offering. But I feel here somebody doesn't see the true offer or feel like, well. I deserve better or there is something better or something like that because somebody here think they get this ace of cups but they get this ace of wands clarifying the seven of swords four of pentacles five of swords two of cups you know somebody here promise something but that's just a promise hey I love you but that's not love. That's something here like, oh, you want this to hear that I love and I'm into you or you name it. But the fact is, I'm looking for something else. The Ten of Wands, judgment. Somebody here, it's kind of put a test. Did you learn a lesson or not? Page of Pentacles. Six of Cups, yes, there's a past lesson here. Somebody here needs to, to learn a past life lesson. Because sometimes there's past life lessons to be learned. And the Knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, yeah. And the Ace of Cups, Three of Swords. Yep. So we have here someone someone needs to protect their own heart. Big time. And I feel here somebody walked away from a situation and still has those open wounds. There's no healing yet, or not any healing done over there. Because somebody here feels like, well, this connection will work. This is what we want to put a work into. But the fact is, it's just that physical attraction. It's not the, um, the energy of, I want to build something. So be very careful here, loves. I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But anyway, it could be anyone with the magician. 
Okay. Let's see, the best advice. The best advice here for whoever. Page of Cups. Nine of Cups. Two of Swords. King of Cups. And Five of Cups. Underneath, Seven of Wands. Stand up for yourself. Know your worth. And it's kind of give just one step at a time because nine of cups speaks of this is it what I want and I'm blind so I cannot see whatever that is okay page of wands communicate more and know this person more Because somebody here has been hurt by someone. Big time. So yes, communicate more, but don't take it slightly or lightly, whatever it is. Three of Wands. Because I feel here someone here puts a lot of expectation into some kind of situation and may not come to fruition. So pay attention, loves, okay? That being said, have a great day. And before we go, probably I said, probably I did not, but finally I've been approved for the 2023rd the planner I created. And the planner will be by tomorrow at my home. And if you want to take a look, take a look. There's a Kindle version, and now there is a paperback version. Probably by the end of the year, if time permitting, we'll do a, a hardcover. But we'll see. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, loves. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.